Hello, and welcome to Send Flowers. Today, I decided to sculpt a figure of Miki from Parasite. If you're unfamiliar, Miki is a cute, lethal, wacky, pervy little fella, and I am a sucker for dichotomic characteristics. So, of course, I had to have my hand at making something around or based off of this little guy. That being said, this is my first more serious attempt with sculpting, um, so I truly had no clue what I was doing throughout most of this, and I don't know how to take the easy route, so I kind of went all out and decided to be overly ambitious and just kind of hoped for the best. <laughs> So unfortunately, this is pretty much the only footage I actually got of sculpting, which was just me putting the uh, thumb piece onto the base of the sculpture. It was more difficult than anticipated to get actually good, usable footage of me sculpting. So this video is mostly me painting and refining the assembled sculpture. Here I am reshaping the eyeball. just refining the shape of the socket and the finger itself just so that when I go to fit to the eye into the socket later on it's just a better fit and now I finally starting the painting process when I sculpted the eye I did actually use indentations to map out the iris and the pupil um, which really ended up working in my favor down the line. I feel like it really added such a nice 3D realistic element to the eye itself. going through and adding a pink to slightly more red gradient on the outlier of the whites of the eye um, just to kind of help give it more of a bloodshot appearance. and I feel like this really brought the eye to life which was super exciting to see.
the eye complete, I moved on to the remainder of the sculpture. So I first baked this out in white gesso just to get a nice blank slate and then I'm going with my base color. I really wanted to keep the colors fairly translucent because I wanted you to be able to see the colors I had underneath. I wanted the skin to have somewhat of an irritated look to it just because he is a lethal parasite so he's constantly killing things. <laughs> Spoiler alert I guess. Um, and I couldn't help myself so I kind of jumped ahead and just started adding blood onto things and then that's kind of like... The, the final touches of the paint job, honestly, was just I added a lot of blood splatter everywhere. So then I moved on to the knuckles, which eh, we, like, we don't gotta focus on the knuckles too much. I'm not the most pleased with how the knuckles came out, but considering this is my first actual like detailed sculpture, they could be worse, okay? so. I just, yeah, blood splatter everywhere. And here I am doing the base of the silver tone later. So I did a base of gray and I do go back later and fix the fact that I put gray where <laughs> there should be flesh tone. I deal with it later, okay? But I'm basing out gray to put the silver on top of. I was just kind of in the zone, okay? I was just like zoned out watching videos, painting, and I was like, gray paint? Sure, that goes here. It, it in fact did not go here. Here you can see where I went back and I fixed it and I added the flesh tone. Um, I d elected to not film that just because I knew it was going to be tedious and obnoxious and throwing a camera in the mix just didn't sound like a good time so I didn't do it. <laughs> And then I elected for one more final coat of silver to really hopefully make it pop. And now I'm on to the final touches. I made some fake glass bits out of resin and I threw those onto the bottom of the sculpture. And now it's on to the final looks. You got to know, know,